Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Mitch Ben. <laughs> Scientists have found a cure for a broken heart, and it's a bit of a disappointment, quite frankly. You see, brokenheartedness is not just a poetic way of saying extreme sadness. It is actually a medical condition. People who've suffered some sort of hideous personal tragedy can develop cardiac irregularities as a result, which in some cases prove fatal. You can literally die of a broken heart, but not anymore, folks, because doctors say that if this condition is diagnosed early enough, it can be cured with aspirin. <laughs> Fair enough, bit of a high-five moment for medical research, I suppose, and good news for some very sad people, but it is all a bit of a bummer for the songwriting industry, isn't it? Whoa, 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 Here's what you do for the broken hearted. Give them a couple of aspirin and send them on their way. What can you do for the lost and lonely who've been abandoned or left on the shelf? Here's what you do for the lost and lonely. Slip them a couple of pills and say, get over yourself. Did it feel like the sun had been torn from your sky? When misery came with that warning Well, there's no need to go around bringing everyone down Take a couple of these and call me in the morning So if you find yourself broken-hearted No need to wallow in the pain of it all Get your whiny ass down to the chemist And remember that it's aspirin, not paracetamol <laughs> Free the shoe guy, free the shoe guy. Justice for the bloke who threw his shoes at your W's head. Free the shoe guy, free the shoe guy. They should have given him a medal, but they threw his ass in prison instead. His name's Montada Al Zaidi. Let's hope his release is speedy. Cause he's a hero, yes indeedy, to at least half the human race. Though George Bush can spend the rest of his life on the sofa, I think it did that smirking over. Bitter good to have a tasseled loafer thrown at his face. It was the most successful footwork based political statement ever, it's true. Whoa, whoa, free the shoe guy. Free the shoe guy. He only did what several billion people wish they had the ball to do. Tell me why did you let Coldplay beat Stephen Fry? They never have anything fun to say And it's not really them anyway All their tweets are obviously by someone from their record company And even if it were actually Chris Then his posts would all go just like this Oh, I wrote another one on my piano and it goes clong, clong. Oh, it's long and dull and glum, but it'll still go multi platinum. I'm not even sure this counts. We should split call plays in a four amounts. They'd have just over a hundred thousand each, and one day that could be within my reach. And though Let's put him back where he belongs Or I'll have to keep writing to 
theatre songs. <laughs> and seriously, this is starting to get beyond a joke. You know, I mean, a running gag is one thing, but I mean, people are actually asking me on Twitter, are you OK? Because this is a bit weird. <laughs> A blog is just a diary you post on the internet so everybody in the world can read along. It means you're under the impression that your every waking thought is a source of fascination, but you're wrong. And then there's MySpace, which is mainly full of dreadful indie bands who want a record deal, although it's a lost cause. And then there's Facebook, which is mainly a way to reassure yourself that your buddies' lives are just as dull as yours. <laughs> A podcast is a radio show you make and post yourself So it doesn't matter if it's really crap MP3s are just a clever way of stealing people's songs Which is why the record industry's collapsed <laughs> Wikipedia is a site where you could have looked all this up for yourself If you weren't such a lazy git And Twitter is for messages that last 140 characters or less And I'm the king of it <laughs> Scenes. They don't look like anybody we've ever really seen They make us feel so ugly But now it's time to stop because They don't look like that either Without the aid of Photoshop So love your love handles Love your double chin Hell your receded hairline Adore your saggy skin and See your faults and creases in a whole new way starting today. We're not all supermodels, we're not all movie stars. Most of us look exactly like what we really are. We feel like we're abnormal. But that's ridiculous Cause there's maybe a couple of hundred of them And there's six and a half billion of us So love your love handles Love your imperfect teeth Cherish your wobbly tummy And whatever lies beneath And love your fuzzy nipples And your droopy chest And all of the rest Love your love handles Love your dimply thighs Flabby, puff or scrawny Whatever shape or size You find you can't be happy You're comfortable in your own skin <laughs>